In this problem, we're told to suppose the coefficient of static friction between a quarter and the back of a wall of a rocket car is 0.33. At what minimum rate would the car have to accelerate so that the quarter placed on the back wall would remain in place? So in order to solve this problem, there's something you need to know, which in this case, right, so we have this uh, coin on the back of the wall of a rocket car, right? And so there's going to be some frictional force, right, that's keeping it in place. And so essentially, it's also going to have some force, right, that's being applied onto our quarter, right, on the back of the wall. And so what essentially is going to happen so it stays in place, the frictional force that's keeping it from moving has to be equal to the force that's being applied onto it, right, as a result of it accelerating forward really fast. And so since this is the case, we know that the frictional force or the force of, uh, right, the force of static friction has to be equal to the force that's being applied from it accelerating, right, the car. And so if we know that's the case, right, well, what is the force of static friction equal to? So the force of static friction is equal to mu sub s times f sub n. Okay, so this is the formula. And so essentially, uh, we can just write it like this, right? So it's just going to be mu sub s times f, uh, f sub n. So we're just plugging it in. And it's going to be equal to the force being applied to it. And what's the force being applied? Right, so it's just going to be ma. So f equals ma. So it's just going to be the mass multiplied by the acceleration. Okay, so it's just going to be equal to ma. And then how do we solve this problem? So we know this, and we're solving for this, but we don't know f sub n, and we don't know the mass. And the way we're going to solve this is essentially, right, f sub n in this case is just going to be equal to mg, right? So it's going to be mu sub s times mg is equal to ma, right? And what you should notice here is that these are going to cancel, right? So m is going to cancel with m, and then you just have mu sub s times g equals a. Mu sub s is just going to be uh, 0.33, right? Multiply that by 9.8, and that's going to be equal to your acceleration, right? And that's exactly what we're solving for. We're trying to find uh, how fast the car is going to have to accelerate so that it doesn't actually move. Right, so 0 0.33 times 9.8, you're going to get A equals 3.23, or about 3.23, and then meters per second squared. So 3.23 meters per second squared, that's going to be uh, the minimum rate the car has to accelerate, so the quarter doesn't, or so the quarter stays in place. But yeah, so this is your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.